everyone, welcome back to my channel and my series One Piece Five Ways. Today it is all about the trench coat. Now I've mentioned in the past that I want my videos to kind of follow on from each other and this trench coat I just showed in my Zara and H&M haul. It's from H&M. It was $49.99, so quite affordable for a trench coat. It's very lightweight though, not lined, but I love um, the style of it. If you want to see a bit more in depth about the trench coat itself and the other H&M pieces, then you can go over to that video, the H&M haul, and then see it there as well. However, I thought today I would include this in my one piece five ways. We're kind of heading into spring, well, slowly, and it's getting a little bit milder in the UK. Um, I've been really bundled up recently in a lot of um, puffer coats and scarves and hats, so I thought I'd go for the trench coat. It's a little bit of a lighter option for this milder weather we're hopefully going to be seeing in the future, and it's the start of the new season. I always say as well, if you see a good piece, like a good coat, at the beginning of the season, get it whilst you can because I feel like this one will sell out very, very quickly. Um, I got this in a medium, so I went up a kind of size or two. Um, I quite like that oversized style. So let's get on with it. Outfit one, and I just wanted to go for something really comfy and casual and show you how to wear it with a lounge suit. I'm sure we all have a rendition of the lounge suit in our wardrobes. So I'm wearing it with these chunky Nike trainers, some cashmere socks from Cos, but I think any kind of tonal socks with the jogging bottoms and the trainers would work. And then this suit is from a brand called Fourth and Reckless. They've got some really good pieces. Not sure if they've still got this suit, but if they've not, I'll find something really, really similar. Jewelry is all from my collection with North School. I've got some gold pieces on today and then I've got my little Chloe bag, it's tonal, I like this outfit because it's nice and fresh and light but it's still comfy and cosy, I think that's a little tip if you want to look quite put together but still um, really comfy and cosy, go for some all tonal colours, particularly light as I think they look a little bit more expensive, they look a little bit more dressed up but still got that really comfy casual feel, I really like this tonal from the head to the toe, so this is outfit number one. casual, less casual than the last look but still easy to throw on, it looks nice but it's not too dressy. So I've gone for these wide leg trousers from Suzanne. I think don't shy away from wide leg trousers with a longer coat, I've mentioned this before but I think it's a really nice look, particularly if you've got something a little bit cropped on at the top so it's not too voluminous. And then I've got my Converse on which I love with these trousers, I think Converse work really well with wide leg trousers. And then I've kept it all tonal underneath with this black cashmere knit from Arquette. And then I've obviously got the trench coat over the top. And I just wanted to add a little bit of something because it's quite monochromatic block colours. Um, I wanted to add a little bit of something different but still keep it within my style and keep tonal. Um, and this knit uh, is from two years ago, I think. Um, so I will find something similar. I know H&M had a few recently, but if that's not available, I'll find something. I find that these knits are really, really useful with a stripe because they look good worn alone or they look nice as kind of a scarf style accessory. And then I've got my Pullen Paris bag with it. Um, it's kind of smart, city, chic, casual look for outfit number two.
my next look, I've gone for the browns kind of theme, but I think what I love about this shade of trench coat is it's not too camely. It's like a kind of nice light mid, I wouldn't even say sandy. It's not as yellow as sandy. It's a pale sand. And I think that shade is something that really goes with a lot of different colors, goes with a lot of bright colors. It's not usually my thing, but I think this would look really nice with pink. Um, it would look nice with blues, greens, khakis, brown tones, greys, navies, blacks. There's a whole spectrum that this would look really, really nice with. So I've gone up for the browns. And again, if you watch my Zara haul, you'll have seen these leggings on here. As I say, I like to kind of continue my themes with videos and keep showing you the pieces that I bought in hauls. So I've got these leggings on with these brown boots by a brand. Oh, that was a tongue twister by a brand called By Dreams. And yeah, I love these brown boots, so useful, but I think these would, it would also look fine with black boots or chunky trainers, that would go really nicely. I've gone for a bit of a tonal jumper because we've got quite a lot going on with the browns and the bag. So I just went for this jumper by Rose Paris. And then I've got my Louis bag on as like a cross body. I'm a really big fan of this look. I'm definitely ready to get back out and about a little bit more. Um, and this is definitely a look that I will be wearing. So I've gone for another all tonal look, just wanted to keep it really casual and rolling with the army vibe. I was deliberating whether to keep the hoodie on or change it for something a bit more tonal, but I thought no, I'll go for the all kind of green tones, mix it up a little bit. So this hoodie is from American Vintage from Cocoranti. I think that's how you pronounce it. Really nice boutique, I'll leave it below. And then I've got these trousers on from Me and M. Love these trousers, they're like a kind of combat style, really chic, really easy to wear, um, and very, very, very comfortable too. They're like a nice alternative to a jogger. Um, and then again, my boots that I had on in my Zara haul, um, which was you know, my previous video. So I, again, like I said, I wanted to just show you a bit of a continuation and how I wear things that I've shown in my hauls. So I've got these boots on here and then my Chloe bag to finish it off. I just really like this all tonal greeny look, nice and casual and simple. videos is I don't just want to show you every outfit wearing trainers. I toyed with the idea of putting a skirt on but it didn't feel that me. Um, I think the way I would wear a skirt with a trench coat, especially a lightweight one like this, is more in spring summer when it's um, one of those days that's a bit muggy and warm but you just need the extra layer um, and I'd wear it kind of bare legs, maybe like a denim mini skirt and some sandals and then a nice lightweight trench over the top. That's how I would wear a trench with a skirt. So I thought for winter, I would show you a bit more of a slightly dressed up look. So I've got these heel boots on from Naked Fashion, these um, croc trousers from Forth and Reckless, my Me and M pink jumper with it, and my Arquette bag. I think the pink, like I was saying before, just works so well with this tone of beige and also with the black too. Um, it's one of those things, if you're going out for lunch, I'm really praying that we can 
hopefully get to do some of those things in the not too distant future. But even if it's an outdoor lunch, then this would be perfect. Something where you want to look a little bit dressier, it's still comfy, um, it's not too in your face, it, it works with the trench coat. Um, so yeah, really like this look. my video as always um, let me know below what you'd like to see because it's so useful because a lot of you say the same things so it's quite useful to kind of follow the pattern and show you what you like don't forget to subscribe press the subscribe button now whilst you're still here and give it a thumbs up if you liked the video don't forget as well follow me on Instagram at Lydia Jane Tomlinson I'll leave the link below I have a lot of different outfit ideas on there um, all sorts of different things, lots of reels, stories, etc. So go and follow me over there for some more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.